Okay, so welcome back guys, we're on Westbridge, a little test map. Uh, today is something I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Um, if you guys have been following my page or my mods for any length of time, you know that um, usually when I make a mod or release a mod, a lot of people try to kind of copy what I do. And so today, I noticed that uh, people um, released a... Uh, a mod that's supposed to be this, the R4045 40, John Deere sprayer. So this is mine. Uh, comes in two versions, one with wheels, viable wheels, uh, floaters, and row crops. Um, um, uh, you know, manually UV map, nice textures, burnt in Michelin. Um, and then this is the sprayer module that goes on. It's 120. 120 foot um, mirror stand airbag mounts uh, Raven pumps so you guys have seen this for a while we got cotton pins in there uh, we got hoses everywhere and then we have our dry box spreaders on John Deere version as well. Um, and then this is the one that uh, Polygonish made, and people are buying and trying to in game. Um, I guess it's not too bad. It's a little bit basic, a little squared off there. Ladders a little bit out of scale. The chassis, I mean, there isn't a whole lot going on there with the chassis. Wheels, pretty basic wheels. Underneath here, there's a whole lot going on. I don't know what this is. Sprayer module is kind of way up there. Let's see if it even attaches. So we'll take a look at this one since this one's the publicly available one. Um, no cylinders to drive. Let's see what we can do. Can we do anything? I'm expecting to see a lot of my uh, scripting um, from my Patriot in here. So what's this? Did I do anything? Fold ladder? Yeah, so I'm assuming a lot of that is from my Patriot. There was seat suspension and everything like that. Uh, the sound doesn't really appear to be... Holy shit. There's no hoses. Got some defects in the burn there. That unfold. Got some flickering of the decals. <sighs> Holy shit. Can't do anything with the booms. So I guess that's supposed to be the Raven. Got some floating stuff here, and uh, that's what the sprayer looks like. Missing some faces. What else? Go what else can we do? Mouse control. Okay, mouse does that. That's all it does. Has the Pantera sprayer sound file. That tank, the fuel tank, appears to be a little out of scale. Okay, enough of that. So, what we'll do is come in here. You can already see it right off the bat. This thing is a lot more. 
crisp textures. You can extend the wheels out. Got all of our bolts and coverings and hoses. Uh, we got our um, skid panels. Pull the ladder. We got a working cylinder actually right there. Help us fold up our ladder. Actually, have to get out and manually attach this, and then I'm gonna hit M next to our wheels, and then can lower this ladder. Unless we also have this service ladder that we can pull in and out. A little bit more detail in our tank and chassis. Uh, a little bit more detail in our air compressor. A little bit more detail in our cab. I'm actually going to take this off so we can get a little better view of what's going on in the cab here. Uh, we have cylinders. We have all kinds of mounting cab mounts um, going on in our chassis here. Underneath we have the mounts for the ladders. We have uh, a little bit more accurate front end here with the engine inside. Ladder is a little bit more accurately scaled. Put up our service ladder to fill our tanks. We got a diesel, DEF fluid. Quick walk around here. We have our inducer tank with all hoses and springs, um, all appropriate decals, all of our hoses, our mountings, um, all of our warning decals, proper uh, boom resting. Uh, this is what ours looks like over here for that um, bulk fill. If you go under the tank here, uh, this is what ours looks like. Back here, they're missing a few things here. We got the full array of hoses and cylinders. Cylinders and hoses. And you'll see when I guess I should get in an area that can actually fold. Lifts out of the cradle, but you'll see, you'll be able to watch these hoses. They move with the boom. Um, as these cylinders. You can raise and lower these. This whole hose assembly up here works cylinders nice and smooth we have proper engine sounds our inducer folds up uh, springs and hoses all all work with that um, we have our cylinders and hoses that <coughs> work over here even on the cylinder the hoses are connected and move well as well as the actual product Hoses. We have a little bit more detail in our booms as well. Some nice beveling going on. Some some bracing. We have our guards. Uh, we have a little bit more detailed sprayer um, nozzles, sprayer unit. How it connects a little bit. Some more detail everywhere, especially right here in these units. Little motors that help. Up here, um, we have the framing for really everything. We got proper framing for our shifting cylinders. Our Raven pump has has 
the direct injection going right into it. We have some mounts for that. Mounts for our lights. Um, direct injections also got, we got mounts and hoses going into our water tank. See if we get out, if we can see any more detail here. Um, oh yeah, these things actually fold up with the hoses, unfold on, you know, when it's folding and unfolding. Um, over here, we got our. end of the boom that kind of if you hit the ground it kick, kicks away so you don't break your boom it'll actually absorb with the spring the impact um, see what else they got going on over here I'm gonna hop in this and see if I can lower it for some reason our sprayer is a little Cockeyed, angled, funny. So what do they got going on over here? Interesting setup. Um, definitely not as detailed. We're missing quite a bit of geometry here. really don't know what's going on over here. These sprayer units are just sad. <laughs> it just looks so sad. The booms look kind of sad. There's no cylinder over here. Also sad. Uh, is there even mirrors in there? No, no mirrors. Bleeding of textures. No actual warning sign. We're missing a lot. This just seems empty. We're missing a lot of stuff here. Some. The uh, actual. He's got like two of these. cylinder there either okay anyways that's mine and then obviously um, we also have the Susie track edition it's the same thing it just has Susie tracks um, on it it's kind of cool they just bolt around the actual drive the driving hub And this is just to help with flotation. A really simple track design. It's got one little pivot point in the middle there. And then, um, obviously, the drive boxes. That one didn't come with any. But, anyways, that's for broadcasting dry nutrients. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to um, see what this looks like. Oh, there is a spreader body. Let's see what this looks like. Oh boy. It's rather, rather interesting. Oh, it's taken right from the interrogator, that's why. It's exactly the same as the interrogator one. Uh, let's look at the mod description and see who's responsible for this. Smith Modding. Smith Modding. Yeah, 
Maps Inspector. So these numbers are important. I wonder if that was taken from my Patriot. Nope, different numbers. Let's see if we go into the Patriot. And we go to the... Oh, no, that's mine. So, nope, doesn't appear they're taking a lot of my work. So this is the XML for their 4045. And then, let's see the XML of mine. This is just a dry body. This is the XML for my 4045. A little bit more in depth. 194 lines versus... 324. Kind of curious what this looks like in GE. View camera. Outdoor camera is way fucked up already. Apparently, this doesn't get dirty. So, this doesn't get dirty, guys. Let's see if we just delete this stuff. We're going to create a light. Create a camera. View. Camera. Delete that. Okay. So, now we're getting back to... I always like changing these cameras to 38. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now we can go over to this one. Take a gander at this. So you know a mod gets dirty when it's covered in dirt in GE. Um, so this is what mine looks like in GE. We have the passenger script there. Uh, we have... Oh, I didn't even look at what... What his console looks like. So I'm assuming it's the same from Julian's Combine. I just textured mine slightly different. Uh, mine has individual components for the wheels. The actual chassis on this is pretty cool. You can get a better look at the detail on the chassis on this one. Um, and then if I want to, I can just take away my skid panels. But that's what the chassis is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have mounts for the engine and... chassis in this one I have a feeling it's going to be if it's even separated nope it's not so that's what the chassis looks like with this one kind of see that area there that area isn't part of the chassis on mine it's actually part of the sprayer 
we're going to bring up the uh, sprayer. That's actually part of the sprayer unit as the boom sail. They disappear when you disconnect it and then they reappear. So it's all part of the sprayer module. And you don't have anything related to the sprayer on the actual mod itself. Under here you can see the actual plumbing. And here you can see the actual Raven pumps hooked up, belts, and then there's, let's see if we can look at there's Mr. Smith's. Again, doesn't get dirty. I mean, at this point in the game, that's just piss poor modding. Um, I can't get over how boxy and basic this looks. No decals, gray is a little bit off. The hatch on the tank isn't very accurate at all. There's some basic plumbing going into the tank. Not very accurate. Got some messed up faces on the hoses there. I'm surprised they had belt straps. Um, the attempt at the Raven. There's a lot of missing faces here, guys. Like, literally everywhere has a missing face. Uh, there's actually no frame on the sprayer. Where if we open up this one, we actually have the actual sprayer frame with bolts. Yeah, they don't even have that. So I'm, it's hard to see on mine because there's so much detail going on underneath the tank. So much going on. going all the way up. Actually, it'll probably be easier if I just move everything. We got a tank main. Just move the whole tank main over here. And then you can actually see all the hoses a little bit better. Come down to a joint here. Feeds into valves. This hose goes all the way in, and it's supposed to fill the water tank. This one goes right into the main main tank. We have a couple valves right here for our inducer. It's kind of interesting plumbing when you build these sprayers. We got our decals, gallons, and liters. All proper, de you know, badging. And then you'd be able to see the actual frame that's supposed to be there. Uh, if you're going to make it detachable, you got to add the frame. And then we got the frame for the actual pump, this pump assembly. A little bit more detail on our blooms. So in here, you can actually see you got lights in the way. There's only supposed to be one of these things that keeps this boom in it. And this is supposed to control the swing. And then we got hydraulic um, cylinders here that kind of like push 
on the boom to keep it from s swinging uncontrollably. And over here, we just got some basic geometry, no decals over here. And I mean, I don't like they got that part, but I don't know what this is. This is just like an extra piece that doesn't do anything. And there's no. There's no actual cylinder in the middle here that will be pushing. Like you see here, we got this middle frame and the hydraulic pushes on this to get more control over the movement of the boom when you're kind of like the tractor. It's trying to keep the boom level as the tractor is kind of at an angled slope. So, I mean, there's. There's an enormous amount of detail that's lacking. Like, I would say over half of the detail isn't there. Um, doesn't get dirty. Doesn't have authentic sounds. Um, but um, it, I guess it is a John Deere sprayer. It's not a reskin of my Patriot or anything. So it's actually modeled to, to uh, attempted to model an R4045. It's just missing an incredible amount of detail. I mean, it's got no hoses. You know, the geometry is super basic. It's all boxy. Um, colors are off, missing faces. Um, no normal maps, right? Yeah, there's no normal maps at all on this mod. No spec maps either. Um, so I'd probably give it maybe like two stars out of five just because um, they did buy the model from Polygonish and they did put in an effort and it's not a reskin. So, I mean, I can't give it one star or zero stars, but I definitely can't get it more than, you know, I can't give it a, a three just because it's at this point in the game, uh, you know, this is just hack job work this is rushing to get it out to keep up the joneses and um scripting is really basic at this point in time you need to implement all the scripts all the interactive functions um seat suspension cast suspension indoor sound you need to be able to um move the booms individually um textures we have some artifacting in the textures has no normal maps, no spec maps, um, no hoses, basic model. Um, really, there's no, there's no effort that really went into making this. No, no passion. Um, so I'm gonna give it a two stars, just to be on the nice side, being a little bit lenient here. So. Um, you can probably find this on the internet. It's going to be all over because that's what people do with mods these days. Um, let's get back in game here. I think what I'm going to do is... See the hoods are a bit different. His is a little bit bigger. Um, tires are overscaled significantly. It's like it's a monster truck. Yeah, tires are way overscaled. I feel like his tank is a little small. Yeah, that's just a puny little tank. That's no 1,200 gallon tank. It's an 800 gallon tank. This is a 1,200 gallon tank. Actually built a scale. All right, so yeah, I might even bump it down to maybe one and a half star. It's not even scaled properly. It's way out of proportion. The body size and everything, the length.
wonder if it's even actually 120 foot. So I'll turn these around and compare the booms. Pantera John Deere. So we'll raise the booms up on ours so we won't hit anything. Okay, so it appears that it is pretty close to 120 foot. Middle section's pretty close. Being the right. It's kind of fun comparing these two. I'm just seeing detail versus non detail. Accurate versus not accurate. Fenders on his are a little bit goofy. Fenders on mine are spot on. Their inducer tanks are kind of fat. Tank is pretty bare. Cab on this. Oh, he actually did model that little. Interesting. Anyways, um, that's just comparing mine versus uh, the one that you can buy from Polygonish. Uh, Mr. Smith, uh, who's taking credit for this mod, uh, I suggest you to put a little bit more time and effort. Um, got a long ways to go. Um, I'll give you two stars for um, um, what I what I hope is just. Uh, a rough, a roughed in beginning mod. Um, it's got a lot more work to do, a lot more work in Blender, a lot more modeling to do, a lot of faces to fix, uh, a lot of hoses to put in, some texturing issues to um, fix. So uh, not a bad start. I, I would say you uh, pulled the trigger a little early on releasing it, um, but I think uh, people will use it anyways. So thanks for watching.